girls lacrosse, getting to know your staff, and Germans. All this and more. Keep watching. This is the CEN. Novi Varsity Equestrian had a match and finished second place in the C Division, making them the reserve champions for the first time. Also on Monday, the girls' varsity field hockey team played against Bloomfield Hills, winning 4-1. And on Tuesday, your girls' varsity golf team had a tournament at the Kensington Golf Club, coming in third place. Your Novi girls' varsity volleyball team took on Howell on Tuesday night and they ended up coming out with a win, winning the first three sets to nothing. They ended up sweeping Howell and it was all around a great performance. Your Novi boys' varsity soccer team took on Northville on Tuesday, taking a one nothing loss. They looked to bounce back tonight. Sir, are you registered to vote? No, but I can by coming to the Taft office and filling out one of the two forms and mailing it to the Novi City Clerk office. Scan this QR code and register to vote. Hey Novi Bobcats, there's a girls across meeting right after school on October 2nd in room 243 with Coach West. They will talk about conditioning and prepping for the season and what more there is to it. Hope you be there. Hello, this is Neil. The choir department is currently running a fundraiser to cover costs for music, busing, and festival. Do I wish that the arts were funded better? Of course, but that's a dream for a later day. For now, students and staff members, I humbly request that you support the choir program when someone from Concert Choir, Chorale, Bella Voce, Major Six, and or Novi Singers comes up to you with brochures for sweets and other delights. Get your orders in before next Wednesday, and if nobody asks you, just find a choir kid. We're everywhere. Good day. What's up Wildcats? As you may or may not have known, this year we had the German-American Partnership Program, which ended last week on September 17th. I was also a part of that program this year, so I'm gonna give you a rundown about how it went. So in order to get all the information on GAP, I asked our high school's German teacher, Herr Baldwin, also known as Mr. Baldwin. So, Mr. Baldwin, how long have you been doing the German-American Partnership Program for? Well, we've been doing the program since 2010, so 14 years. And what are some highlights of the program that you really enjoy? Well, there's a lot of highlights. Every, every year we do something cool in, uh, in Michigan, like we've gone to Sleeping Bear Dunes, we've gone to Mackinac Island, we've gone to Grand Haven. This year we went to, um, we went to a Tigers game, and most of the excursions were uh, with families, so that's always fun. Just being in school is a, fun, is a fun thing about the exchange, and then, of course, going to Germany in June, which uh, is full of all sorts of adventures. And are there any highlights of the program this year that you're looking forward to or already have done? Well, the highlights always are seeing, seeing kids making new friends and uh, seeing the smiles on everybody's faces. Um, going to Germany is something that we all can look forward to now for, uh, for the upcoming June. Okay, thank you. On top of this, I also interviewed some of the American and German students that were participating in the exchange this year. Oh, oh, it was great. Yeah, I love America. Now really, uh, uh, I met a lot of uh, new, a lot of new uh, people and I love it. I mean, everyone is so friendly and so shiny and I like that. Yeah, so hosting a German student is fun because then like you always have something to do. Like, um... Yeah, basically, like, you always have to, like, keep them entertained, so you go out of places. I've been to a lot of places over the past week, and that's all, that's pretty fun, so that's fun. Oh, oh, there are a bunch of things. I'd say the proportions, oh yeah. For example, I don't know, when you go to a, a store, uh, it, it's just insanely big, uh, or the cars, or the houses, yeah. And that's all for the German-American Partnership Program for this year, folks. If you are currently taking German and ever want to do the program in the future, then you can definitely talk to Mr. Baldwin about it in two years from now, the next time the program takes place. Thank you!
Hey there, Wildcats. I'm Christian Johnson, and this is... Mr. Schmid. Hey, Mr. Schmid. What do you teach here at Nova High School? I teach U.S. History, IB History of the Americas, and I try to whip my freshmen into shape and make them not be slackers. Alrighty. Uh, what is your unpopular take as a teacher here? I have never liked reality TV, and I think Star Wars is overrated. Hey Wildcats, this is Melissa Franco, and today I'm with... Gina Katrine. Miss Katrine. <laughs> Katrine. <laughs> Hi, Miss Katrine. Uh, what's your... What do you teach in Noah High School? I teach Algebra 1, and then I do Math Support in Geometry, uh, Algebra 2, and Algebra 1. Okay, that's great. Uh, what's your unpopular opinion? My unpopular opinion, according to Mr. Falski, is that my two favorite Disney movies are Tarzan and Atlantis. They're, they're the best! <laughs> I love them! Thank you so much for your time. I'm Christian Johnson and this is... Mrs. Baker. Hi Mrs. Baker, what subject do you teach here at Nova High School? I teach French here. And what is your unpopular take as a teacher? I think Mondays are better than Tuesdays. What's up, Wildcats? Do you want your story featured on the Cat's Eye News? Email us at nhscatseyenews at gmail.com. And that's the end of today's broadcast of the CEN. Jaden, say goodbye. We'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.